everybody, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and today I feel like I'm going to show you some of my old art from high school and college. It's a really embarrassing amount of stuff, but I think it's a good day to do it because this closet needs some reorganizing. So when I first moved into the new studio, I was like, oh, this little closet space in the corner, this is going to be a good painting storage area. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll just start throwing stuff in there. And I started throwing more stuff in there. I started throwing more paintings in there. And now I'm to the point where I kind of want to like access some of the older stuff, but I can't find it because it's just all in there. So today's big project is to take everything out, reorganize it, restack it, and then obviously, you know, put it, put it, putting it back in. But as I get to putting it back in, I'm going to show you guys some old stuff of mine that um, is, I think, a good way to show my progression uh, from a really unique and interesting varied points of interest. Um, just to kind of show you guys where I was and the work that I'm doing now, that, that long progression of, of trying out a lot of different things and then finally settling on something that, for me, feels right. But first things first, I'm going to get this stuff out of here. Now, I need a vacuum. Alright, so I decided to forego uh, sort of my process of storage that I had been doing for an exceedingly long period of time of stacking everything horizontally, and I've kind of gone back to stacking everything vertically. And I've actually, in doing so, I've actually made myself a lot more space in here, plus moved a number of things just out of this closet entirely. So now that I've made space uh, for all the new stuff and things are more easily accessible, let's get the, the uh, old stuff back in here. All right, so I'm just gonna sit here and talk about stuff, hold it up, uh, should be interesting. So the first things I've got here, this older, this is older. Okay, so this is a painting I did in 2005. Uh, I was, would have been about 15 then. Uh, so simple sky, silhouette, really no detail whatsoever, uh, but it was sort of me just trying to figure out the whole landscape thing. I'd always kind of been interested in landscapes and things like that. Here's another one from a rather relatively short period of time after that. Did that one too. Um, then when I was 16 I was taking a class uh, in school where we getting a little bit of art history and there was an artist by the name of Mark Rothko that did sort of what we called color field paintings, which big wide areas of color. Uh, granted I know now that those wide areas of colors weren't just opaque paint, but there are a lot of subtle transitions and uh, thinner layers of paint built up over time, but I didn't really understand that so I was trying to do some sort of abstracty things and they're, they're interesting but they're not good. So this guy is a lot of high school stuff. Should be interesting to see what I happen to find in here and what I actually want to show. Uh, that's college stuff. Hmm. There we go. Here's an old huh, portrait, you could say. This uh, had to have been probably 16 when I did this one. This is uh, chalk pastel, I believe. Uh, put this in here. 
Uh, this I did, uh, probably one of the things I, to this day, probably still relatively proud of, uh, given how young I was. Um, I don't have an age on here, but I'm going to venture to guess about 15 or so that I do this. Chalk pastel on uh, felt board. Um, felt board is really interesting if you, if you work in chalk pastel. It's worth, uh, worth uh, using at least once. There's a landscape from maybe I was 17, I think. Something like that. Oh, there's another portrait. <sighs> Ding. Yeah, I don't do people. For good reason. I'm, to be fair, I'm, I'm not... I don't want to show you everything. It's just that not everything's going to be super useful. These are uh, college era. So kind of starting to understand landscapes, sort of. Um, but still kind of playing with different media, mixing that in. There's there's like Sharpie marker used on this. That's like, ugh. High school. Yeah. I'll just, uh, oh, you guys will like this. Chalk pastel portraits from a high school drawing class. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's basically like draw your classmate. Okay, I'll do that. I need to tape these up again. I'll get some tape for that. All right, next up. This one. So there's a lot of more older things in here. Ooh, here's a here's a good one to show off. Okay, so this is not dated whatsoever, so I have no idea when I did it, uh, but I had to have been in high school if it was here. So yeah, uh, old landscape. See stuff like this? I did stuff like this. So it's, it's, I think it's, I feel like this is the kind of piece that's really good to show the progression. Like, I used to do stuff like this. And I was like, yeah, look how good this is, and it's not. But if you keep at it, you'll figure stuff out. There's more felt board, chalk pastel stuff. Ding! This was from a photo. That, yeah, it's actually the photos over there. I still have it up. Yeah, I'm so, let's, let's skip that one. What else is in here? Ah, more. More chalk pastel portraits. Oh, here's a, this is actually a college portrait. It's the line work, uh, and then the carbon back it was for a painting. I don't have the painting anymore, thank God. But they're like, hold on to that. Maybe you can do a painting again sometime. I'm like, no. Uh, this is 2009, so I was 19, and this is like some early experimentations with mixed media. This is just like pen over top of watercolor. There's just some older stuff in here. Oh, when did I do this? No idea. Um, there was a yellow mat to go with it. Um, but this is a uh, simple watercolor piece. I'm going to venture to guess I was about 17. I don't know. I, I didn't start putting dates on any of my work until maybe like 2008. Uh, and then a handful of things I did prior, but yeah, literally no idea. Here's some character work from when I was 15 and 16. All right, so some of you may re recognize Pantomant in here, uh, but I'll, I'll get to that. So we have a toad. <laughs> and knuckles. And I'll just flip them. I don't, need to, I don't need to shout them all out or anything like that. But uh, that was a colored pencil one. It's another colored pencil one. That one's not attached. Really poorly drawn Samus. Oh. Whew! That was, a, that was, that was, no. 
<laughs> and some more incomplete stuff. So yeah, there's uh, it's a progression. You don't start by doing cool stuff. You start by doing terrible stuff. Here's a good one. This is, oh, this is probably one of the oldest things I've got in here. This is when I was 14. This is was my sort of uh, introductory art class um, in high school. So this was it says period two. So that would have been early, would have been early in the morning that I had this art class. But it was like here, here sit and draw something in perspective uh, in the hallway, and then we kind of went in with watercolor over top of it. But uh, a good example, like if you're struggling with perspective, and you're like, ah, it doesn't look right. This, I, I did it too. You know, it, it, it takes time. <laughs> These lines are all wavy. <laughs> Here we have some oil pastel portraiture. Everything is very orange. All right, I feel like that's pretty good. This was, um, this was late high school. I was starting to figure some stuff out back then. So yeah, that is a mess of my old artwork, um, but it's a good, it's a good gauge. I, I say, Be, being able to look back. So this was would have been uh, roughly ten to thirteen years ago with all this stuff. So if you love art, keep making art. Don't worry if it doesn't turn out right, because if you just keep doing stuff, you get better. Uh, and, and you kind of find your niche. Uh, as you can see, I played with around with a lot of different stuff for a long time. Um, and then I sort of just found my own things that I really like to do, and that's what I'm sticking with. So I hope you've enjoyed this little humbling experience of mine, as well as just like cleaning up the closet. Um, be sure to subscribe for more, and this has been from Cinema Lux Studios. See you guys next time. I get all this bullshit back in here. And I gotta get some serious tape. Right now. Serious tape. Getting tape. Getting tape.